Today we're going to rebuild the fork tubes as my seals are leaking and uh, most of my fluid has run out. So we're going to do the fork seals on the CRFL 250. Loosen the bolts to the fork shroud, then remove the bolts to the brake caliper. Next, remove the fork clamp bolts on the lower end. Then loosen the top triple tree bolts. Remove the wheel axle bolts. Then remove the axle. Then repeat for the fork tube on the right side. Be sure to take note on where the wheel bearing covers and spacers go. Now gently slide the tube out of the triple tree and lower clamp. Repeat on the right side. Now that you have the fork tubes on the workbench, you can remove the shroud. I leave the shrouds on to protect the tube during transport. Try to clean all the excess grease off the end of the fork tube. You want these tubes as clean as possible when reinstallation happens. Using a one quarter allen, remove the bolt on the bottom of the dampener tube. Place the forks in the bucket upside down and let all possible fluid drain. Remember one tube contains the dampener and the other tube contains the spring. Being extra careful not to squeeze the fork tube, place in a clamp and remove the end cap. Carefully unscrew the cap and slide the dampener tube out. Pump the dampener until all excess fluid is expelled. Be sure to keep everything as clean as possible throughout the process. Using a flathead screwdriver, carefully remove the lower dust seal. Now remove the oil seal retaining spring. Be careful not to scratch the tube. Grabbing the lower end of the fork tube, knock the tube back until you release the seal. Now it's time to remove the spring. Once you have the spring tube cap loose, you can expose the end of the cap. You'll need to place on the bench and remove the cap with a pair of wrenches. Unscrew the end cap. With the end cap removed, you can now repeat the process to get the fork tube out. Using a flathead screwdriver, carefully remove the brass bushing from the top of the lower fork tube. You can now slide the remaining brass bushings and seals off. When removing the oil seal, be sure to take note which direction the seal is placed. Be sure to give both tubes a thorough cleaning.
Now clean the cap and replace the oil ring seal. Reinstall the dampener tube. Be sure to try to center directly over the lower hole so when you're holding it up, it's easiest to line the bolt hole up through the bottom of the tube. Using a rubber glove, slide over the end of the fork tube. Be sure to position the fingers up so that the seals pass through easily. Make sure when reinstalling the seals, you have everything in the correct order and that the seals are orientated in the right direction. Using a little axle grease, lube the seals in order to pass through easily. Applying even pressure, run the seal past the brass bushing notch in order not to damage the seal. Once you have the dust seal and the oil seal on, you can replace the snap ring, the washer, the oil seal, and the brass bushings. We'll be wrapping the fork tube with some electrical tape in order to bang against to reinstall the seal. Cleaning the tube with Windex, be sure it's totally removed of all oil, otherwise the tape will not stick to the fork tube. With the tape installed, grab the upper fork tube, be sure it is totally clean. Now sliding the upper fork tube over the lower fork tube, stand the tube up on the bench, and bang down evenly and firmly until the seal is properly installed. Inspect seal installation. Make sure it is properly seated before you install the snap ring and the dust cover. Repeat this process for the other two. Remove the tape and clean all residue. You can now fill the tubes with the recommended amount of fluid. You can now reinstall the fork tubes in reverse. test drive after a job well done. Thanks for watching.